In this video, I'll be explaining how to replace your rear wheel speed sensor in your E90, 91, 92 or 93. The speed sensor on these cars are particularly sensitive and need replacing for any number of problems. The error code this car flagged was 5DC6, which is for the rear right sensor. When the fault is flagged, the dash displays the following warnings. Before you start, you'll need a ratchet and socket set, flathead screwdriver, allen keys and the replacement speed sensor itself. I've posted some part numbers and links for this in the description below. You'll need to remove the rear wheel, loosening the nuts before jacking the car. When you have jacked up the car, don't rely on the jack and place an axle stand under the rear axle. The speed sensor is located behind the brake disc. To get to the sensor connector, you'll need to remove the rear part of the wheel well walling. Thankfully, you don't need to remove the whole thing. The bolts for this can be found here. The material for this walling is fairly malleable, but you'll need some jiggling around to allow for the access you need. Two connectors can be found here, usually under a black cap which is missing on this car. The connector you want is the grey one. You disconnect by pushing on the tab at the top. This wire routes back to the sensor behind the brake disc, so now we follow it. Disconnecting the placement tabs along the way with a flathead screwdriver or equivalent. Once you've done this, you can unscrew the bolt holding the sensor in place. On this car, the bolt was covered in muck and was not budging, so some cleaning and WD-40 help get things moving. Pop the old sensor out and put the new one in with the bolt. You don't want to over tighten, just go enough that it feels secure. Now it shows a case of routing the lead back the way it came, making sure those fasteners clip shut. The connector will only go together in one orientation. Clip that together and reposition in the holder. Put the walling back in its place and refasten and put the wheel back on, doing the final bolt tightening when the car is no longer jacked up. When you restart the ignition, the dash will still display the error message. You'll need to start the engine and drive for the control unit to work out things are working and clear the fault. Gone. Yeah, that's it. Fault's yeah. gone.